Hey y'all, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Tonight we're making another healthy meal. It was supposed to be a chocolate pie, which is totally not healthy, but that's going to be Saturday's video. So I wanted to see, I can eat healthy if it's grilled chicken, grilled shrimp, um, salmon. I can do all that. I haven't learned how to do the frou-frou foods. That's what Brian and I call it. But tonight, I'm going to see if I can do spaghetti squash. We're eating spaghetti squash tonight, and you're joining me. You're going to find out if I like it. If I don't like it, it, I'm not deleting this video no matter how it turns out. So come along. <laughs> Okay, welcome to my channel. I'm Leslie. If you're new here, I do cooking videos, mostly high fat videos, but this past next few weeks, I'm going to be doing some healthier ones and then I'll throw in my good old fattening ones too. So, um, please be sure to hit the bell, the subscription, <laughs> hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification and be sure to give me a thumbs up. So let's get started. Hey y'all, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. It's a messy hair day. It's okay. Um, I've had little Levi today, so he's played with my hair. I've laid down with him, so just forgive the hair. So, today's video was going to be a good old fattening kind of video. It was going to be the um, chocolate pie, chocolate chest pie. Um, but that may wait till Saturday's video. Um, Caroline's kind of had a rough week this week, or she's actually had a rough couple weeks because her kids have just, they went back to daycare after being out for the summer, and one of them has been sick nonstop, and she's gotten a new job. She can't take off. It's just been, and, and she's kind of like ready to, She's at her wits end because she's not getting to sleep good. Um, thank goodness I'm here and can watch the boys, but I have to wait till after I do chickens before I can watch them. So it's just kind of, um, she's just had a rough week. So I was going to make her and Jamie a chocolate pie and send home with them, but we'll do that over the weekend and I'll film it for you and we'll send it to their house. So tonight's going to be another healthy recipe. We're going to have spaghetti and meatballs. How healthy does that sound? Now, I'm going to be using something I have only cooked with one other time. Spaghetti squash. I have only cooked with this one other time. And the time I cooked with it, I just cut it in half, got the seeds and stuff out of the center, then filled it with like cheese and cream and spices and stuff. And then you just ate it out of the half. You just took your half of spaghetti squash and just ate out of it. And so this is my first time actually like using it for spaghetti. So we're going to see how this goes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the top end and the bottom end off. That way it'll have a flat surface to stand on. And I'm going to cut it straight down the center. Y'all don't need to see this because it might not be pretty. Might not be pretty at all. Did you hear somebody say bubble? Come here. He's got a cookie mouth. He's got a cookie mouth. Say hey! Say hey! This is Levi. Levi, 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 Levi. He likes his bubbles. All right. Bubble. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to cut the ends off. I'm, I'm going to do two. I'm not sure how many I'll need, but it's something I can stick in the refrigerator and we can have another meal with it if we need to some other time. But, so I'm going to do, I'm going to, I got cookie. <laughs> what, darling? I love you. So I'm going to cut the ends off. I'll bring you right back and show you what we do next. Okay, guys, <laughs> be glad you missed that. Look, my hair's even worse than it was before. That was not pretty. I pretty much needed Bryant here to do the cutting. It was, yeah, pretty gymnastic-like. But let me turn you down here. This is what we have. We have spaghetti squash halves. And 
um, hopefully they'll all fit on this cookie sheet. No, they're not going to go on there like this. Um, I've got one more half. Um, yeah, they'll fit. I'm just going to sit them this way for just a minute. Let me slide you back so you can see everything. Whoops, that was too much, wasn't it? Sorry, guys. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to take, I didn't even get, like, we, we might find seeds as we, uh, I couldn't even scrape all the center part out. So, I'm just going to take some nonstick spray and spray the outside, the especially the edges, the edges that's going to be touching the parchment paper. And I have my cookie sheet here lined with parchment paper. And we're just going to turn these upside down. I have my cookie, my uh, oven preheating to um, 400 and we're going to leave them in there for 45 minutes to an hour. They're going to go in. <laughs> I used this bread. This is the bread pan I used the other night, so I still got breadcrumbs. So, sorry if you saw that nap. But anyway, um, it's going to go in about 45 minutes. We'll know it's done when we can puncture through the skin real easily and it'll go right through like a, like butter. So, um, I'll bring you back when these are done. Okay, y'all, so while that's roasting in the oven, let me talk to you for just a minute. I have never, what darling, what you got? I have never cooked with spaghetti squash, so I don't know how this is gonna turn out. But you're gonna be with me for the big reveal. But we're gonna use some really healthy stuff. We got the spaghetti squash is gonna be our noodles. Um, these are not turkey. I thought I got turkey meatballs. I didn't get turkey meatballs. Okay. I gotta figure out how many of these meatballs I can have. But anyway, I'm using meatballs. Um, okay, I gotta do some figuring because I thought I got turkey meatballs, but I didn't. I'm not sure. Let me let me think this through. I thought I had turkey meatballs. Anyway, and we got Reyes marinara, which you can use that, and so that's healthy. So now I'm I'm gonna get less meatballs than I thought I was gonna get. I thought we each of us could have ten meatballs, and that's a lot of meatballs. But now I'm gonna have to refigure this and see. I don't and I don't even, I'm not sure I know how to figure it up. Ah. <sighs> So, I'm going to have to do some thinking. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, guys. The spaghetti squash is still roasting and going strong. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and get the sauce ready. And because this is going to be considered a vegetable and the spaghetti is going to be considered a vegetable, I'm not sure how much of the spaghetti I'm going to use. So, I'm just going to go ahead and pour in a pot one cup of this and we'll divide it between me and Bryant um, and I may have to use a little less or, or whatever than a half a cup but we're gonna put it all in one and then we'll measure it out when we fix our plates um, so this is actually Rayo's um, homemade marinara and this I, they substituted this was in my Walmart pickup haul and I ordered the regular but they put in there the sensitive style I mean, sensitive marinade, which all it means is they didn't season with onions and garlic. Um, so, I'm going to add some garlic powder, some onion powder, and some Italian seasoning anyway. So, that's totally fine. So, one cup going in my little saucepan here. that out really fast because I don't want it to stain. Oh goodness, I believe it already is. <laughs> I'll have to work on that real fast. Anyway, um, so I'm going to put just a little bit. It doesn't take much because that's not much sauce. Just a little bit of Italian seasoning. Little bit of garlic powder. 
Oops, let me get another onion powder up. This is new one. I have one already open. Okay, guys, here goes the onion powder. All right, so that's good and seasoned up. So I'm just going to set this on the stove top, um, and it will heat that up um, right before we get ready to eat. And I found out it looks like I can still have probably around 10 meatballs. I checked. It looks like I can still have around 10. I'm going to weigh it on my scales just to be sure. But um, I can have 5 ounces of meatballs. So we'll weigh it out to be sure. I'm not sure how many I can have. I'm going to do several in the air fryer, then weigh them out. And um, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, guys. I've got the spaghetti squash out of the oven and we're just gonna see if they're ready which I'm sure they are because I left them in a little bit longer than I had intended to see how soft that not the knife goes in okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure they come up off this parchment paper and we're gonna flip them over oh looky there we're gonna flip them over and let them cool mmm perfect Turning them over just lets them cool a little bit easier. Let's see here. All right, so we're gonna let these cool for just a minute and I'll bring you back once I can finagle them a little bit, but I'll show you what's gonna happen is we're just, look, look at the spaghetti come up. Look at that spaghetti, isn't that cool? So that's what we're gonna do in just a little bit, but we're gonna let them cool first. Okay guys, so I'm here fixing my noodles. Y'all, we're gonna see. Let me get a bowl to put it all in. And then after I get a bowl, we'll measure it out. Plate. Let me get a plate. That's the plate I measured something out. Yeah. All right. Look at that. Isn't that cool how that just makes spaghetti? That is just so. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That is the coolest thing ever. I know y'all can't see. <laughs> Sorry. Look, I've got a whole plate of noodles. So we're, <laughs> I'm making Brian eat this tonight too. So we're gonna fix to see. This is what I call fruit free food. <laughs> ah. All right, there's more in there, but let's move on to the next one. Actually, let's wait a minute, let's measure. Let's turn around here and measure. Okay, guys, I can have, I know what I can have is, let me check, spaghetti squash from Cook. I can have 2.7, one helping is 2.73 ounces. I can have up to two, but I want extra sauce. So I'm gonna see how much one serving looks like, if it looks like it's gonna be enough. So. Okay, that zeroed out. That's perfect. All right, what did I say? 2.73. So I'm just going to use my fingers. Get in the plate. Oh, we're almost there, y'all. I want some of these brown ones. <laughs> Little bit over. Two point seven five. I think that's pretty close enough, and that looks like plenty of noodles for me. So I'm gonna save this plate for Bryant. I'm not gonna measure his. I'm gonna keep that for me. Um, in fact, I'll put him in a bowl and. Then I'm gonna finish scraping those other ones out and I can use them for something else 
or we can have this meal again pretty soon if we like it. <laughs> Time will tell. Time will tell. All right, so that's what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep um, going to keep making noodles. Mr. Noodle! Anybody know what that's off of? Oh, Mr. Noodle! Leave me in the comment if you know what that's off of. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is really the coolest thing ever. These noodles. Alright. Alright, one more and then I'll let y'all go until I get them all done. I mean, look at that. Isn't it cool the things God made? I mean, like, I mean, like, I wonder what people years ago, before noodles even came to be, what, what they ate spaghetti squash and how they ate it. I wonder about stuff like that. But this is pretty awesome. I hope it tastes good. We shall soon find out. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish doing this and let this cool. And I'm going to... These look a little weird over here. I think those look weird. They look different than those. Okay, I'm going to um, finish doing this. And I'll pack them up in just a little bit once they finish cooling. And then we'll be ready to... My turkey meatballs are in the uh, air fryer. I put them in and I can have 10. I measured them out. Did I tell you all that? I don't even know if I told you that. But I put them in the air fryer at 350 for about 20-25 minutes. Let me cut my oven off because I'm roasting. I've been cold all day so I've got bright sweatshirt out. <laughs> now I'm hot. Okay, so we're, we each get 10 meatballs, a pile of noodles, and a half, I'll get a half a cup of sauce and he'll get a half a cup of sauce. So, this is cool. Okay, guys, so I guess I'm eating by myself tonight. No kids, no husband, all alone. But, good thing I've got me some good old comfort food, spaghetti and meatballs. And we're fixing to find out how I like, um, spaghetti squash. I've already bitten one of the meatballs and they're really good. <laughs> so let's see. Not bad. That sauce is delicious. I'm going to try just the spaghetti squash. actually pretty good. It, there's a little bit of a crunch to it. It's not mushy like a spaghetti noodle would be, but I actually like that because I like my spaghetti noodles al dente. Um, this is really good. Spaghetti and meatballs, y'all. So, I really like that. That's, that's going to be a go-to for me. Y'all have been doing so good on my water and it a miracle within of itself. I'm doing good with water. But, um, y'all, I'm sad I'm here by myself. I'm never here by myself. This is really sad. Um, actually, I could actually cry in any minute. <laughs> but, that's okay. The Lord's with me. I'm not alone. The Lord's with me. It's just my house is never quiet. Ever. Ever. So, this is weird. But anyway, I really like this. This is definitely, I, I don't miss anything. The only thing that I'm kind of missing a little bit is that big old piece of garlic bread. But, that big old piece of garlic bread is going to add big old hips to my body. More so than what's already there. So, I actually really, really, really like this. Uh, the meatballs are delicious. 
Uh, in fact, I I didn't even put myself 10 on the plate. I was able to have 10, but I just don't think I could do it. Um, I mean, they're still in there, so if I need them, I just don't think I can do it. But <laughs> no. Sorry, hang on. <laughs> this is a winner, winner, winner right here. Um, and surprisingly enough, I really like the spaghetti squash. Um, I didn't think I would. I thought that was gonna be gross. Like I don't like quinoa, so I was kind of putting it in the same category that I wouldn't like it because. Um, but I really like it. This is really good. I mean, and who can eat this big old bowl of spaghetti and, and with a straight face say they're on a diet or they're not, I'm not on a diet. I'm changing the way, trying to change the way I eat. Um, we're going to see if it's successful or not. Um, if it is successful in about a month, I'm going to give it a month. In a month, we'll talk about it. But other than that, I'm just going to show you some of the healthy meals I'm doing. Um, but, um, you yeah, know, this is good. So, I'm going to let you guys go so I can eat because I'm dying to get into this and um, finish eating it up and drink my water and doing good. So, listen, if you're missing my fattening food, come back Saturday because we're having chocolate chest pie. Chocolate chest pie. And that'll be Saturday's video. I'm not sure what time it'll upload, but that's what Saturday's video is going to be. So, thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. I still think I need to change my motto, but I'm still going to do those frying things. But, but when I'm cooking healthy, I need to come up with a healthy motto when I'm doing a healthy meal. Hmm. I have to give that some thought. Oh, and I know you guys are going to ask about these glasses. Down in the description is where I get most of my um, glasses. They're an online company. The, the link and everything is down in my description. Zenoff, Zenoffy or something like that. I can't, I don't, I'm not sure I don't even know how to pronounce it. Um, and then I have two pair of glasses that are from uh, my eye doctor that I have had years ago that I just keep getting the lenses put in. These, however, are from neither one. <laughs> In fact, there's no prescription in the top because I don't need much in the top. These are what I had before I needed prescription in the top. But they're progressive um, to 250, I think. Um, and now my eyes have changed a little bit. I need a prescription in the top. But um, I ordered these off Amazon. I just put on there progressive lenses, zero to whatever. And um, it was... I mean, I really like them. What happened was I've lost one of my Zenoff, Zenoffy glasses, one of my favorite pairs. I've lost them. So I was looking for them, came across these, and was like, woohoo. And um, so I put these on, and I just grabbed them and put them on because I needed glasses at the time. And um, my other ones were here and there and everywhere. So... Um, these are really good. So there you go. So thank you for watching the farm and pastor's wife. Um, remember grace is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye y'all. Love you.